Hey, yo, my people. Winter's here. What does that mean? Especially in the Northeast, flu season is as well. Stay tuned to this video. I'm going to teach you how to protect yourself and avoid these type of illnesses for you and your family. I got you. Check it out. So flu season, my people, I noticed that a lot of people tend to start suffering from the flu around this time of year. And I got to tell you, man, the number one way for you to go ahead and avoid a flu is to become stronger because it's a common trend amongst the patients that I have in the back of this ambulance. I ask them questions, but not so much about OPQRST and sample, although those questions are important. I also ask them about their quality of life their lifestyle choices. I asked them if they smoke cigarettes. I asked them what was their last meal? Do they work out on a regular basis? What do they do to relieve stress? What's, what are their positive venting mechanisms, if they have any at all? And I come to realize everyone who shows up on this ambulance with chest pain, with blood pressure that's through the roof, with diabetes that can't even be measured on the glucometer, a lot of them have unhealthy lifestyle choices you ask them when was the last time you worked out they'll say i don't work out i'm not a gym person you ask them how much water are you drinking they say i don't know one or two cups per day what do you do when you're stressed out eat ice cream so i say that to say this my people the flu is a consequence of the weak people that have the flu are people who are weak People that have chronic diseases in the majority of cases are weak. Every chronic disease has one thing in common. That's inflammation. And that inflammation is usually caused by lifestyle choices. I'm speaking to you from experience, bro. When I went through medical school, I caught gastritis because I was drinking five to six cup of espresso coffee per day to try to stay awake and keep up with the workload of becoming a doctor. And then what made it worse is that I didn't take care of myself. I didn't work out. I ate comfort foods to try to make myself feel good. So when flu season came around, when somebody with a random cold got around me, I caught the cold as well. When you're weak, you're susceptible to everything. Now that I do martial arts, now that I lift weights on a regular basis, I could go ahead and work 72 hours, 80 hours on this ambulance whenever the fuck I feel like it and be around people that are sick and not get sick myself. Does that mean I'm 100% immune to it? No, it does not mean I'm 100% immune to it. But does it decrease the odds of me suffering from something? Must Most definitely. So I say that to say this, my people, you're on the ambulance. You don't want to take germs back to your family. You're helping people. You want to be selfless. But the number one way to be good at being selfless is to first be selfish. Take care of yourself. You're a first responder. The job that we do requires a better quality of life. We deserve more money. We deserve more health. We deserve more happiness. We don't deserve the cigarettes. We don't deserve the alcoholism. We don't deserve living in a shelter. We don't deserve this low-level, lackluster existence that a lot of my brothers and sisters feel. So for this flu season and moving forward, take care of yourself. Protect yourself so you don't have to take those germs home. So you don't have to share your cold or your pneumonia. I fucking lost my cousin to pneumonia. He was 33 years old. 
Why did he die? May he rest in peace. It was because he was obese, bro. He was weak. And what started off as a common cold went into pneumonia, and the pneumonia turned into sepsis, and it claimed his life. The fuck you think I'm doing? Talking from my ass? Just to fucking talk on this dumbass camera? I feel this shit, bro. I lived it. I would hate for you guys out there who are fathers to go through it. Because there's something that is fucking horrible about not having a father. And I know because I was raised without one. But what's worse than not being raised with a father is being raised with the wrong one. So if you're not taking care of yourself, if you're not strong mentally and physically... That you're more susceptible to the flu. You're more susceptible to being a bad influence for your fucking family. And they don't deserve that. So you want to avoid the flu. You want to avoid whatever the fuck is going on in the air. The best hedge against it is to take care of yourself. On and off the ambulance. I hope this helps. Peace. Peace.